Living on a farm and homestead, things seem to happen at the most unexpected time. Yet one of the things that can be expected is to expect animal encounters. And this week was no exception to that. This week we interacted and encountered a couple different animals. Each year on our farm, a pair of geese come to hatch some goslings. We just saw something very cool on the pond. I don't want to alarm them, but I want to, uh, so that's why I'm quiet. I'm trying to whisper so that way we don't make them scared and they don't hurry off. Let's see if we can find them. Look at what we have here. Canadian geese with some goslings. I'm going to keep going to see if I can get a closer shot. So I'm going to try to go through the woods and see what we can do. Try to go around the pond to see if we can get a little bit closer view of them without trying to scare them away totally. And there they are. Some Canadian geese. Thinking back of all the animal encounters that we've dealt with on the farm, we have dealt with a lot. Our, some of our first interactions were with raccoons. Raccoons attacking our chickens. We've also seen snakes. And also, we've dealt with hawks. On two separate occasions, I've witnessed a hawk in the act of trying to take out some of our chickens. Yet, one of the things that we dealt with this week that I can say I have never dealt with in the past as far as in the way that we did, yes, we dealt with this animal that you're about to see, but not exactly the way we did this week. Life is always interesting when you're living on the farm. I'm going to grab a cat carrier. And can you guess what animal I'm going to grab the cat carrier for? Hold on. If you guessed cat, keep trying. That's not it. Here's Chewy. Not for him either. Nope, not for the chicks either. So have you guessed what it is yet? We've actually only caught one of them so far, but there are three of them. And here is what it is. Bam! Maybe. Thought about. Lacey, you found out that the, uh, the possums are under this container here. The other one that we did find already is in the cat carrier. I'm just waiting, waiting for the other ones to come out. I'm trying to get them as well. Oh, look, oh. there it goes. The prehensile tail. What is a prehensile tail? It's a tail that can wrap around stuff. They can use it like an extra hand. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a wild crab. There's number two. So we're still looking for the third one. And how do we know that there are actually three? It's because kids actually saw them. How many possums did you see? Three. Uh, I think I saw three. You saw three? Yep. Why in the world are we trying to look for an opossum? You, be, you may be asking yourself, why are we looking for these or opossums, Sailor? Why are we looking for these babies? Because their mom died. So, if they don't have a mommy and they're little babies, what happens, Sayla? They will die and get eaten by a cat or a dog or a turkey vulture or a bald eagle or a chicken. Those are a lot of predators. Yes, they have a lot of predators, according to Sayla. And so, foxes. And what are we trying to do for them? Uh, help them live. 
There you have it. Lessons from a six-year-old. Almost seven. I found the third possum. I'm not sure if there's any more because I've only seen three babies. But I'll keep checking back over there to see if there's any more. And for the time being, I'm going to feed them some fruit. See if they like that. After doing some research, we found out that these baby opossums were actually old enough to take care of themselves. So, once we learned this, Lacey released them back into the wild. back there they are out in the cage and it's not supposed to rain tonight um, it's not supposed to rain for another couple nights but I made it where they can get out if they want and um, I left them some food and some water if they need to stay in there and stay protected that's fine but if they want to get out that's fine too well that's it for this episode of animal encounters on the big pond farm Check back with us later and we'll reveal to you some more of our animal encounters. <laughs>